Hi everybody, I'm Kathy Holmes, president of the Lady Smith Waterfront Gallery. We are on the unceded territory of the Stamanus First Nations. And welcome to the ninth annual Lady Smith Fine Art Show. In 2018 was our last show. The walls were filled with glorious art and over 1,500 people came to that show that month in February. Since 2018, changes have taken place, changes in the gallery now that we're camped out at the school and we're in the middle of a pandemic. So we are online and virtual and very excited. I would like to thank our team who put this show together, our artists who spent hours creating for all of us to see. And I would like to thank them also for tackling the new technology in submission of their art. I know it's tough, but you did it and thank you so much. Um, I also want to thank our membership. Uh, during the last year and a half, two years, you've stuck with us and we certainly really appreciate that. We're working for you and we look forward to more art. I want to thank the organizers, the judges, our presenter, and our business community who have supported us financially. The Lady Smith Credit Union has sponsored the Best in Show Prize. Thanks to you, the Lady Smith Credit Union has supported the arts from the very beginning. The, I also want to thank Lady Smith Little Valley Restoration and Lady Smith Pharmacy, Brenda Clark and our patron Nick Myers Dries and all those people that sponsored um, the, this show. It, we can't do it without you and thank you so much. And all those people that advertised in our online catalog, be sure to check it out. And if you live in Ladysmith or you can support our advertisers, that would be wonderful. So next up, I'd like to introduce John Delu of the Ladysmith Credit Union. And we couldn't do any of this without our curator, Leona Petrak. Hello. And welcome to the Arts Council of Ladysmith's ninth biennial Fine Arts Show. My name is John DeLeo, and I am the CEO of the Ladysmith and District Credit Union. This juried art show is open to all emerging and established artists living and working on Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands. The Ladysmith and District Credit Union has passionately supported the arts in our community for many years because we understand the importance that art represents, as it can influence the opinion of people through visual inspiration. The feeling art creates may change minds, generate thoughts, form engagements, and even produce action. Art has the power to move people and offer new experiences, be it painting, drama, song, a sculpture, or a photograph. Art may motivate people to think about life positively or differently. At its heart, art inspires us to appreciate instinct and imagination. Our support of the arts has included being the main corporate sponsor for Arts on the Avenue for more than a decade. We have sponsored the Ladysmith Little Theatre as their corporate sponsor for many years. We are a lead sponsor for Shemanus Theatre and have also sponsored the Ladysmith Camera Club. Personally, I have been drawn to the arts for as long as I can remember. My parents loved the opera and live theatre, and this probably inspired the interest in me as well. Today, I am honoured to announce our sponsorship for the Best in Show Award with a $1,000 cash prize to an artist who shows excellence in one of the three categories. I hope you will join me in congratulating the selected artists by visiting the Ladysmith Fine Arts Show online from February 6th to March 31st at ladysmitharts.ca. I would like to personally thank all the organizers for ensuring this event carries on in this new way and world in which we live. And to the artists who have shared their passion and talent. All of your hard work and commitment to the arts enriches us all. 
So hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Leon Petrak and I am the curator of the 2021 Fine Art Show for the Lady Smith Waterfront Gallery, um, the Arts Council of Lady Smith and District. Thank you to the Tamanis First Nations for allowing us to uh, be on their traditional ceded lands. Uh, my role as the curator of this particular uh, exhibition was to stay in contact with the judges and hopefully answer any questions as cleverly as I could. And I want to take particular note to thank the judges because as I'm thinking about it, we're so fortunate. We probably had over a hundred years of insight and experience with the judges that we had. So I am 100% confident in the work that they did. I think they've given us a beautiful show. I just want to congratulate those people who made it into the show. Hopefully, everybody's going to be really pleased with the way the virtual show uh, looks. And we have backed that up with an online show as well. There is such a variety of really excellent works in this show. I would encourage people to look at this, uh, the virtual show and the online show, not once, not twice, but many times because there's always something new to see. Congratulations to the whole team that, oh man, worked so many hours, worked so hard to put this together in a way that's going to be pleasing, that's going to encourage our art, artistic community. And I'd also like to thank the sponsors and the artists. So uh, everybody who's taken part in this whole venture, it's a group effort. We all need to pat ourselves on the back right from the beginning submissions right to the Best in Show prize winner. Everybody, thank you so much. Today we have Sheila Norgate as our host. Sheila is an author, an artist, a TED Talk presenter, and an all-around creative person. We are thrilled to have Sheila present all the awards today, so hang on to your hats and let the excitement begin. About the nuts and bolts of the adjudication process. Artists were invited to submit work in one of three categories, photography, 3D, and 2D. So we're going to start with the photographic submissions. Uh, they were juried by Rochelle Penny. She's a Cowichan Valley photographer and a trained judge with the Canadian Association for Photographic Art. Now in total, 37 were, uh, submissions were accepted in this category and they included the subcategories of people, places, things, and ideas. The envelope, please. Well, there isn't anybody here, but I grabbed it. So in the photography subcategory of people, the winning piece is called Love's Dreams and it's by Sim McDonald. And congratulations to Sim. In the places subcategory, Daphne Carlisle's piece called Falls Near Coxilla takes the prize. Congratulations to Daphne. In the subcategory of things, the winning piece is titled Left Hanging, and it is by Lois DL, and we congratulate Lois. Thank you. Finally, in the ideas subcategory, the winning piece is titled The Distance Between Number One, and it is by Nancy Bernard, and congratulations go out to Nancy. Thank you. Now, I've now got the envelope for the overall photography winner. And in this category, the overall winner and the winning photograph is an image inspired by current photography, photography trends, minimalism, vibrant colors, and vertical orientation. And this photographer in question has been snapping shots for over 50 years, and she strives to enhance the small and often unseen elements in her surroundings. Without further ado, the winner of the overall photography category is Lois DL with her photograph, Left Hanging. Congratulations again, Lois. Thank you. 
This is my first fine arts show that I've entered, so thank you. Now on to the 3D submissions. Uh, they were juried by Jacqueline Nolte, who is Dean of the College of Arts at the University of, of the Fraser Valley. In total, 45 submissions were accepted into this category, and it includes the subcategories of jewelry, clay, fiber, wood, metal, stone, and paper mixed media. There were insufficient submissions in the rodent dropping collage category. Making sure you're still with me. So let's see what's happening in this. These would be the subcategories. So in the 3D subcategory of jewelry, the winning piece is called Fruit Salad and it's by Susan Koch. Congratulations, Susan. In the subcategory of clay, we've got Colin Fraser's piece called Heavy Thoughts, and that's the winner in that. And congratulations to Colin. Thank you. You're very welcome. In the fiber subcategory, the winning piece is titled Ramona by Christine Earle. Congratulations, Christine. Thank you. In the subcategory of wood, the winning piece is called Arbutus Platter, and it's by Dave Roberts. And congratulations to you, Dave. In the metal subcategory, Brenda Isaac Takeo's piece, Blown Over, wins. And congratulations to you, Brenda. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. In the subcategory of stone, the winning piece is titled Navigating Chaos, and it's by Stephen Cole, who is a fellow, a fellow uh, Gabriel Olin. So congratulations, Stephen. And finally, in the subcategory of paper mixed media, the winning piece is by Joanne Purdy. It's called Lifelines. Congratulations, Joanne. The winning piece in the overall 3D category depicts a person with a shy disposition and a smile worth waiting for. This creation is by a Ladysmith artist who can use even the tiniest scraps of thread and fabric to tell a story. Without keeping anyone in, in any suspense any further, the winner is Christine Earle with her remarkable piece, Ramona. Congratulations, Christine. Thank you. <laughs> it's a surprise. Wonderful. Now, our final category is the 2D grouping, which was juried by noticed muralist, a uh, noted muralist and celebrated international portrait artist, David Goatley. A whopping 173 submissions were accepted in this category. And as you can well imagine, had to be broken down into subcategories of oil, acrylic, watercolor, drawing, mixed media, and handful prints. So we're gonna start with the subcategory of oil. And the winning piece is called On the Beach and it's by Brad Scramita. Hopefully I've pronounced your name correctly. Congratulations, Brad. In the acrylic subcategory, the prize goes to Rohanna Lang for the plywood goes to C. Tofino. Congratulations, Rohanna. In the subcategory of watercolor, Kimberly Miller's piece called Souvenir de l'été takes the top honor. Congratulations, Kimberly. Thank you so very much. Oh, you're very welcome. It's our pleasure. In the drawing subcategory of drawing, um, yes, that's repetitive, but again, to make sure you're paying attention, drawing is the subcategory. The winning work is Diner with a View by Joan Larson. Congratulations to you, Joan. The winning mixed media piece is called Paper Doll Portraits. It's by Diana Durand. Congratulations, Diana. And in the last of the 2D subcategories, hand pulled prints, the winning piece is titled Rose Sips and Rain Puddles, and it's by Ann Jones. Congratulations, Ann. The next category is the overall two dimensional category. The winning piece captures contrasting geometric lines against a curved background of ocean and mountains. 
This work is by an artist who finds inspiration in her travels and in the landscapes, villages, and people she encounters. And the winner is Rohanna Lang with her piece, The Plywood Goes to Sea Tofino. Rohanna, congratulations. Thank you, I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Before we get to the grand prize, which is best in show, and that comes uh, with a $1,000 purse sponsored by the Ladysmith and District Credit Union. I have some very important gratitude to extend. Firstly, our tremendous appreciation goes out to the excellent panel of jurors who brought their considerable insight and experience to this show. It's not easy to, to consider 300 uh, pieces of work. It's quite a Herculean task. I would like to thank the town of Ladysmith for their ongoing support of the Arts Council. And also we want to extend our great appreciation to the fine art show sponsors, Ladysmith and District Credit Union, 49th Parallel Grocery Store, Little Valley Restoration, Brenda Clark Enterprises, and all the individual donors who made this event possible. I also wanna take a few moments to really acknowledge the determination and hard work of the Fine Arts Show Planning Committee, and that includes curator Leona Petrak and the staff and board of the Arts Council of Ladysmith. It's not an easy thing to take an art show with the scale and pedigree of this one and turn it into an online event. To say there has been a learning curve is a colossal understatement. But the fact that this fine art show attracted almost 300 submissions from artists hailing from every corner of our region is a loud and determined testament to the generosity of vision that this Arts Council continues to extend to its community. It's also a measure of the trust that these legions of artists have placed in this Arts Council as many of us know firsthand, as we try to work alone in our studios in the face of this pandemic, it's beyond measure, it really is, to have a group like the Ladysmith Arts Council work so diligently to bring our voices forward at this unprecedented and historic time. Last but by no means least, our thanks go out to the artists who continue to create and share their work. We truly have a thriving arts community and you are its beating heart. Now we're almost at the best in show. Um, and so I know I have your attention. Uh, don't forget to check out the amazing exhibition, which will be online at ladysmitharts.ca following today's award ceremony. If you're already at the website and it's not showing up, remember to refresh your browser. Uh, that will help. Um, all the way through February, uh, viewers to the show are going to have the chance to vote online for the $100 People's Choice Award. Um, that's sponsored by Brenda Clark. And um, yeah, there's an added incentive there because um, everybody who votes online for the People's Choice Award and their name is, is being put into a draw for $155 worth of chroma paints. So that's a wonderful, um, award that's going to be awarded to one of the lucky ballot casters. Okay, I think that's all I can do for stalling. I've got to get to the last envelope. This is the best in show. The best in show award is going to a very deserving recipient who is inspired by the beauty of the natural world and the nostalgia of photographs old and new. She enjoys introducing elements of serendipity and surprise. This artist's winning piece features a subject who doesn't offer smiles freely. They must be earned with time and trust. Well, this piece earned a huge smile from the jurors who said, and I'm quoting, this is a beautiful and engaging portrait with effective use of color and pattern to portray the complexity of personality. The artist used a dynamic juxtaposition of shapes and colors. Titled Ramona, the work is by Ladysmith fiber artist, Christine Earl. Awesome work, Christine, congratulations. Oh, thank you, I'm just, I'm shaking, I'm so <laughs> shocked. <laughs> It is, it's very exciting. 
wonderful. Thank you. Um, well, we that's it. We're going to wrap it up here. We want to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, please, as we've said, check out the show online um, at ladysmitharts.ca. Don't forget to vote uh, sometime during February uh, uh, for the People's Choice Award. We are so glad that you took the time out of your uh, pandemic uh, day to spend some time with us here. And um, we're uh, celebrating the artists of the region. What could be better? Truly, we can all agree art lives here.